Hi there YouTubers. It's been uh, quite a while since I did a weaving video. I did the uh, trip down to JB's for the spring fling and I had the one about Nottoway. I've still got some Civil War sites that I took videos of that I haven't posted yet either but I there's too many things going on all at once. But anyways I'm starting to put a new warp on the loom and I know I've shown setting putting on the warp before but I don't think I've gone into the details of how I very first tie a warp onto the back beam of the loom. So what I want to do this time is make something really quick and just show you how I tie onto the back. Um, the method I use is probably not standard. It's, it's one that I kind of worked out for myself. I watched um, Jane from, I can't think of her last, James Stafford how she did it in the videos about the Louette looms and I'm kinda close to that but I'm I just want to show you how I do it this is not a recommended method for anybody else but if you like it hey fine you can use it if you don't like it that's fine too this is the way I do it so let's take a look down here at the uh, warp that I'm just now putting onto the back of my loom and maybe we'll zoom in just a little bit so I put this bar here right through a loop in the end of my warp. You know, a lot of people make the cross in their warp, and I got a cross in mine. And I always tie a knot, just a slip knot, around there to hold the end in place. And when I'm done with that, I come around here and I tie, I get, get this so it's nice and tight there and the end of the warp is just looped around that this metal bar then I take this same string or the same piece of excess yarn and I just tie a square knot in the end and that keeps it from slipping away and now I've got a nice even tie on and I don't waste a lot of extra yarn by having or extra thread by having a long tie off here that I have to tie a knot in it's not going to go anywhere and it's just held in place by my quick slip knot. Um, like I say, this is only my method. I don't know if anybody else does anything like this or not, but this is how I feel the most comfortable. So I'm going to keep doing this all the way across here. And then what we're going to do is take another string and wrap it around this um, wooden take up bar and the metal one so that those are locked together in between each set of threads. That's the way I do this. Just thought I'd show you what my method is as I start to put this brand new warp onto my loom. So I take that off. Go up to where I've got a tie at the cross and that sits over the first lee stick. And I just come around the back of the whole thing, both the top and the bottom as it's through there. And just simply tie a square knot. The advantage that I see to this is that there's no wasted thread with long knots here. It's simply looped over and I know it's at the exact halfway point of the rest of the thread. So I know I'm going to get the use of more of my total warping thread by doing it this way. At least that's how I think of it. So let's do just the next one. We'll the cross now sits right here. We'll loosen that. Go around the back one more time. Now it's not going to slip around and get uneven. That holds that in. That's all there is to it. That's the way I do it. No saying anybody else should do it the same way, but that's what I like. Alright, now you can see that all along this line here where the metal bar exists, I've got every one of them tied so it's not going to slip very much. Now the next thing I do is take just a piece of strong cord that I've got 
and I'm going to go around this wooden piece here and I'm just going to make a loop around it and pull this out and this is kind of a nuisance takes a while to pull it but what it gives me is just a kind of a lasso around there now let's move this over just a little bit more so you can see it better now I simply take this and loop around the metal bar back around the wooden bar and pull it tight cat's trying to grab the other end of the string so it's giving me trouble here so now I've got that looped around here once I'll go around it again but this time on the other side of this piece this group of warp threads and I'll loop it again there we go now we're around the two the wooden bar and the metal bar two times we go around and do that again and what this does is it steadies up so that when there's tension on there we don't end up bending that metal bar it's going to be evenly tensioned and stay parallel with the wooden bar which is what actually pulls the warp to wind it on so hopefully you can see how I'm doing this and this is all there is now I just have to go all the way across the loom and get the cat to let go of the other end of this silly piece of cord and I'll have it evenly tied on at the other end okay I'm wrapped all except this last one you can kind of see here how this works see this kind of white and brown cord there so now I'm going to wrap it around the last time and then I'm going to tie it off so we pull this the last time through and we've got a pretty much even spacing between the metal bar and the wooden bar so we'll just come down here and tie I'm just going to tie a quick knot in there I know the camera angle is not great for you to see it as well as I'm seeing it but there one more quick knot and we just even this up a little bit and now you can see hopefully how that white and brown cord ties around and we have the two rods the metal and the wooden being roughly parallel and kept tight together that way so I don't get bending up in the metal one this isn't going to bend in the middle when I have warp tension on it so that's how I initially tie on to the back of my loom um, I'm not going to make this a real long video we'll leave it at this if you like my channel I'd appreciate subscribing um, I'd appreciate comments likes whatever works best for you this is how I set up my loom I'm not saying anybody else should do it that way but I'm offering it as a suggestion to say here's how I do it and I'm comfortable with it and you may or may not want to try the same concept when you're setting up your loom that's all for now bye bye